Welcome to today's adventures in distance learning. We are going over 7.2 vectors. Question number 20 from the homework. The SS Bigfoot leaves Yeti Bay on a course of north 37 degrees west at a speed of 50 miles per hour. After traveling half an hour, the captain determines he is 30 miles from the bay and his bearing back to the bay is south 40 degrees east. What is the speed and bearing of the ocean current? Round the speed to the nearest mile per hour and express the heading as a bearing rounded to the nearest tenth of a degree. Okay, so we've got 37, so north 37 degrees west for our boat from the bay. And after traveling for a half hour, at 50 miles per hour, so that's going to be 25 miles. Uh, the captain realizes that to get back to the bay, he needs to do a 40 degree south, so south 40 degrees west bearing for 30 miles. Okay, so that means that the current is roughly this vector right here, not drawn to scale, of course. We're trying to find the speed and the bearing. Keep in mind that on my picture all I've got is miles rather than miles per hour. So if we consider that uh, that was 50 miles per hour, we're going to have to remember that when we find the speed of the current. So if this is 30 miles and we want to have everything in terms of a half hour, then that would mean that that would 60 miles per hour. So basically what that means is if we use the 25 and the 30 in our calculations, then we're going to need to double the number we get for this to account for it being only a half hour so that we've changed it to miles per hour instead of per half hour. Okay, so I've actually used vectors for this problem. So the idea I've got here is that this is the resultant of this plus this, right? So that means that this would be the result of taking this vector, which I've named W, subtract this vector, which I've named V, and I'm finding vector C for current. Okay, so I'm going to take W, subtract V, and my vectors can be found by doing 30 cosine 130. Sorry, I wrote 140 at first, but it's 130. The reason it's 130 is because this angle right here is 40 degrees. So I'm a little bit out of focus. I hope this video doesn't make you sick. 40 degrees, and so that means that the alternate interior angle here is 40 degrees. So 90 plus 40 is 130. And likewise, 90 plus 37 from our original bearing is 127. So that's the other angle we're going to use with the 25 magnitude. Okay, so vector W, 30 cosine 130, 30 sine 130. It's my pen making it blurry, isn't it? And then vector V, 25 cosine 127, 25 sine 127. So there's our component forms for vector W and vector V. So for vector C, for our current, we're going to subtract the x coordinates of W and V, subtract the y coordinates of W and V. I calculated those to three decimal places, even though my final answer is going to be one decimal place so that I can try to account for rounding error. Okay, so then I subtracted those numbers that I calculated and got an x-coordinate of negative 4.29239 and positive 3.015, which goes along with my picture being to the left and up, even though it's not quite drawn to that same scale. Okay, then I went ahead and used those numbers to find the magnitude. That would just be Pythagorean theorem, so the square root of these two numbers squared. And of course, squaring the negative 4.239 turns it into a positive number. So that number squared plus that number squared square rooted was 5.202. So there's the magnitude of our current. So remember, that's for a half hour. So if we want miles per hour, we double that number so that it's going to be approximately 10 miles per hour or 10.4 miles per hour. The answer key just says approximately 10 miles per hour. And then I did the inverse tangent. I got a quadrant 4 negative angle. I need it to be quadrant 2. So I added 180 and I got this angle in quadrant 2, but I really want that to be a bearing. So now I'm going to subtract 90 out of that 
And I don't know if I wrote this down anywhere. Oh, I wrote it in my picture. So after taking 144.577 and subtracting 90, I get 54.578. And so that's a north 54.6 degree west bearing. And like I said, I checked that with the answer key. My bearing is correct. Um, and for the miles per hour, they just say it's approximately 10. And when I first did this, I accidentally multiplied by a half hour instead of divided. And then I realized I needed to go the other direction to change my half hour to an hour so that it was miles per hour. So I multiply by two instead to get that current.